everything I ate at a Greek festival. Coming in, the entrance fee is $7. They got the kids working. The kids working. <laughs> Good for them. All right, and now, here we go. This is my first Greek festival ever in life. Okay. We got some shots. Yes, come back to this. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> when you walk in, so this is at a church, the St. Sophia Cathedral. And this happens every year. Now we're going into where all of the food is a so Greek food is my favorite food on the octopus. I want everything. Shrimp saganaki. I want everything. Right? Everything. Fries, wine bar. Okay. This is so pretty. This is what I want. This is where we are. So Chrissy got the baklava, and what? Ever had, ever had. Nice. It looks like it's nice and juicy. So here we go. They are cooking it, uh, chefing it up back here. So you get, look at these plates. And then you pay. They also have waters. And these are these are stacked plates. Okay. Okay. So we got the feta fries. Chrissy's vegan, so she can only get fries and ketchup. So that's where the baklava comes in. But we're gonna find her some grape leaves, and then this bad boy. We got lamb, salad, fries, the pizza, tzatziki, and there's plenty of seating, so that's a great thing. There's Like, it's hot out here, but there's plenty of seating, there's tents, we can also go inside, like, we got a little bit of everything. Started off with the feta fries, so good, the fries were seasoned to perfection and crispy, and the feta was nice and refreshing. The next up was a lamb gyro, gyro? I heard it say both ways, so I don't know. But with all the fixings, delicious. And then this one, I wanted to mix it all together. The feta, the lamb, the tzatziki, the fries, awesome. This was the best baklava I've ever had in my life. We decided to come inside, and there's so much more food in here too. So we have the full bar, and there's more like wine, and there's music, and it's beautifully decorated in here. All the desserts, some shopping, and then more food back here. So this is where I'm going. Lamb shake. Chicken, Perfect. meatball, Ooh. moussaka, okay. and pastizo, okay. and rice and potato. Perfect. Oh, wow. Amazing. Thank you. Great <laughs> salads. Now we're checking out the desserts and baked goods. Cheesecake. Yeah, 
got a baklava cheesecake. This is what I'm most excited for. Like, I love cheesecake. A frappe. This is rice pudding? Yes. Okay, rice pudding and then the dolphins. Got in this frappe. I don't know what all was in it, but it was good. I had to try it. The baklava cheesecake. I've never seen anything like this, and I'm a sucker for cheesecake. Delicious. The doll maids were lemony and refreshing. A little soggy though, and there was nothing special about this rice pudding. Lauren, I don't know why you got. Yeah, especially tonight. There's nothing really to try. Okay. You can leave them here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we got the flaming saganaki with some pita, and then we got octopus. Okay. The flaming saganaki. Don't play with me. Look at her and her perfection. She was salty and rubbery, just how I like it. And then finished off with the octopus, which was the perfect texture. Was. And then on the side is a bunch of like fun bounce houses for the kids. It's a very family friendly event out here and we appreciate that. There's the outside, very beautiful. Quick recap on the Greek festival today. So it's a very cute, small festival. You only need maybe two hours, three hours there tops because it's very small. It's at the St. Sophia Cathedral. I think that's what it's called. So it's on the church grounds. So it's not at some huge venue, but it, they pack a little punch in there. And I had a great time. So it is $7 to get into the festival. And then you still have to pay for all of the food and drink. And the food was delicious. They had so many options and just overall just so good. But um, they have the typical Greek cuisine. So you saw what I ate. And then as far as drinks go, they do have the wine and Greek beer and sodas and water. So a little bit of everything for everybody. And then the coffees. Oh my God, the coffee was so good. And then it's very family friendly event. There's places for the kids to run around and play. And there's lots of seating and shaded areas. It is hot. So overall, uh, just a good day. But yeah, you only need a few hours there. So come hungry and get ready to spend money because I just spent money on all of the food. I didn't buy anything in there aside from the food. Like they do have a market. I showed at the very beginning of the clip me walking in. So there are some like clothes and jewelry and things like that. But overall, I was there to eat and I'm glad that I did. They do have little showcases of dancers and stuff. And on their Instagram, I'll show you their Instagram here, is where they post all the schedules and everything. But I didn't get a chance to see any of the dancers because I was sitting down eating while the dancers were performing. But yeah, they're every few hours or so. You you can also take a cathedral tour. I didn't want to do that, so I just went in at the very end and just saw it for myself. But overall, a very fun, delicious day and highly recommend the Miami Greek Festival for you guys. And the next festival is going to be a Latin festival on Calle Ocho. I went last year. I'm going to go again, and this time I'm going to bring you guys with me and show you all the ins and outs of it. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.